The Victoria Line was conceived and built as much to provide interchange with other lines as to provide a route in its own right. The 13 and a quarter mile long line is entirely underground and connects King's Cross, Euston and Victoria mainline stations with London's West End, making it the busiest underground line on the network. Victoria. With the opening of the Victoria Line, various bus routes in the vicinity were diverted here to create a major transport hub. The modern bus station we see today was opened in June 2005, a subway providing direct access to the tube. From a typical subsurface ticket hall, the Victoria Line is reached by a fixed staircase flanked by up and down escalators. Having closed the doors, operator Darren Parr presses the two start buttons. The trains have been automatically controlled from day one. Notice the ledges either side of the track. These were added primarily to keep the wheel noise down. The internal diameter of the Victoria Line tunnels ranges from 12 feet 1 inch to 12 feet 8 inches. The slightly larger than normal tunnels have greater air management properties than earlier tube lines. Here we can see some working lights. Although provided in all the tunnels for maintenance and cleaning purposes, they're usually turned off during normal running. The rush of air you may have just heard final time on our journey, cross-platform interchange is provided, in this case with the Northern Line Morden branch. Surprisingly, a quarter of all Victoria Line stations are shared with the Northern Line. The motifs are an abstract design of a swan, referring to the nearby Swan Public House. How's this for the approach to a terminus? The intensely used crossover allowing access to and from both platforms is traversed at full line speed. Push it out, please. And then lock that. And all that does is knock all the air off. And the flight's break. And the plane won't go nowhere. Few passengers give um, so we can take an overall view of the line controllers and the signalman, who generally will do the day-to-day -day stuff with us just taking an overview. Uh, the first complete underground line to be built in the capital for more than 60 years is operated. Automatically driven trains, a TV view of the platform for the driver, everything in fact to make it one of the most up-to-date commuter routes in the world.